Recipe slaying, muck banging it out. Not a pro or a hoe. We gonna be banging it out in this episode. Chisel and nizzle. Wigtastic, it's magic. Spilling the tea on some of them episodes. It's your boy, Learn Bang. And that's why cooking from my soul is the way I go. On this multiple mukbang channel. We'll be back for more episodes. Hey y'all. Guess what? Yeah, so I let this sit probably about 10-15 minutes. I let it go a little extra. We gotta fly in here. The norm. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into a little prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you're doing in our life, Lord. I just want to thank you for this food that you provided, Lord. I just want to thank you for everybody that's tuning in, Lord. I just want you to bless everybody in the whole wide world. Heal them. You know their hearts. You know their needs, Lord Jesus. In your name, I pray. Amen. So anyways, we got a little quick prayer in. So yes, you know, we already got the... If you just watched the last video, we got a girl on deck. So yes, look. <laughs> so we got our rice in the middle. And then we got our etouffee. Oh my god, look. She's nice and thick. Oh my god, look. Nice and thick. Oh yeah. Mm. Hey, honey. Yeah, so I got a recipe. Go check out my recipe video on this one. But I made crawfish etouffee. And I use this Tony Satry's brand. And I fortified it with my fresh flavor ingredients. So, enough about that. Go check my recipe video out over there and you will know, honey, how I made it. And no, I didn't make it like the directions on the back. No one should ever follow the directions. Follow your own cooking smarts and intuition. That's my word. But anywho, let's get back to this flavor of sugar. When we got some carousel rice. Oh my god. So yeah, and you can serve this with rice, pasta, whatever you want. Traditional is rice. Oh my god. So we got crab, we got andouille sausage. Wow. Y'all. This is amazing. Amazing. So we got crawfish, crab, and dewey sausage. All kinds of veggies in it. And let's go ahead and get into a shrimp. These jumbo shrimp we got here, and I'm gonna show you. So you take the end of the tail and you pinch it, and watch. Mm-hmm. Girl. Watch some. Baby wife. <laughs> but yeah, you just pinch that tail and suck that sucker out. 
These prey fish, these crawfish, we did the D shell crawfish. Get your little D shell crawfish. Mm. Yep, go check out my recipe video and you'll be able to see what brand and stuff I use. This is a nice semi homemade meal. Yeah. Anybody can make this meal. Yes, sugar. Here's your. Oh, I'll pick your bite. Come on. Get your. Oh. Hang on. Alright. Get you a VB bite. Come on. So hopefully y'all having a beautiful, beautiful day. Hopefully your week is going well. Girl, you already know mine is. Look what I mean. Mm -hmm. Man, she's so tasty. Go ahead and get some. Yeah, look, we got more crawfish up here. So we got our blue crabs. Mm-hmm. Had to put together a nice little seafood medley. You know I love me some safe food. Yep. Use some of your teeth. Use some of the shell as a spoon. Get that meat out. And then you can see right here. Look, we got that meat right there. We'll just keep cracking around it. And as long as you didn't overcook these to death, that meat's just going to... Pop right on out of there. I know they're a pain, they're a small crab, but the flavor they impart in your dish. And the nice sweetness flavor you get out of them. Good meal. Sugar, you will be blessed. Mm. Go ahead and put a little seafood on top. Make it look pretty for you. Woo! Little. Oh. Hey, come back here. We got a little scrimp. Make her look fancy. Oh. But I simply enjoy this recipe. I hope y'all do. Mm. Wow. These crabs have very thin shells. I like using a little poker in. On these, that helps loosen that meat up and get it out.
So I got another little puffer here. We're just going to go ahead. Mm. Get all that flavor out. Oh. I'll probably just put her back here on the plate. A little more crawfish. Oh. Mm. This crawfish is money. We're going to go ahead and get another shrimp, so you're more than welcome to use whatever seafood you want, take the shrimp off, whatever, but I just pinched that right there. Look at that shrimp. Ooh. So nice and squeaky clean, girl. Mm. Yummy. Now, I know the recipe video is probably very little long. We'll see what I can cut on the editing, but honey, it's going to be all right. Now, the surprise that I put in there that looked like that, I showed you. This is squid. Oh. I'm glad I'm quick. Saved a piece of crawfish. Oh, that squid is money. That squid is so tasty. Oh my god. And it's cut. I like the squid that's cut in like the flower shape, they call it. Cause they cut in all pieces and they cut this way. They go the opposite way. And these I get at the Korean store, they're so good. Money. Oh my god. Let's get into this crab. Get her up here. Let's see what flavors. Cause you see she just Oh, that sauce is stuck all around it. And these are the first things I put in. I'm kind of... I just kind of peel this. Thin back so off. To start. But yeah, you can see all that meat. Be like... You see all that meat? That's a big cluster. And you can break it a little bit. Matter of fact, look, that's all meat. All meat on top. Mm. And then I get my little poker tool. Man, this meat is sweet. No, they're not like the big crab or the These babies you gotta work out a little bit. And there ain't much in the feet and crawls, you can just chew on them. But their bodies, baby, is where it at. Oh my god. They got so much meat in their bodies. And you can peel some of this front shell off if you can get it without disturbing the meat. Mm. Wow. They're so good.
Well, it makes you so flavorful if you're getting all that flavor with that etouffee. As well as they release all their flavor in the etouffee, so. And I buy a pretty good sized bag for like seven bucks. My love H to B. B S sugar. You can just suck them dry like it's your best boyfriend, honey. Or girlfriend. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, this is so tasty. Oh my god. This is not going to be a long video because the last one was. And this was requested by... Uh, Tanisha Armstrong, so go check her channel out. Beautiful, beautiful content creator as well. I got a little different setup than I normally do. Hope you love it. You can see more of me in the couch, too, honey. Let me get a little for the cross-contamination police. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll go ahead and do a little extra wipey creams. But yeah, this is so good. Excuse me, y'all. Little. You now, you make it as spicy as you want. I'll give you a little prelim. I also use this in the recipe. And Tony Satchew's Carrillo. I'll also give you another little prelim. What is that? Yes, baby, it's my burn bang nacho seasoning. I told you she good on everything. Even seafood. And Cajun food. Or whatever else you want to put her on. Barbecue. Mmm. Get a little spice in your life, baby. Mmm. Money. Wow. So anyway, please stay true, and you'll be. <laughs> That's right. Yes, honey. Burn bang, baby. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this go so it cuts off. Cause you know, <laughs> Mama got a grub. See, look, I pinched that watch. We're just going to suck her on out. Of course, it helps better if you have the other two parts. And if you don't mind eating shell, just pop it all in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Wow. I guarantee you. She's going to be ten times better tomorrow. Just you wait and see. So I'll be coming out with a new uh, challenge. Stay tuned and see what challenge we're doing. 